once again, we're going to talk about some sports today. Um, recently, I think it happened on Saturday, February the, today's the 18th, 17th, 16th. Um, Colin Kaepernick and um, his lawyer, I think his name is Mark Gergus. Uh, give me one second while I, yeah, his name is uh, Mark Gergos. Uh, settled with the NFL on the collusion case. Uh, for those of you all unfamiliar with that, basically, long story short, I'm trying to give y'all the layman's version of it. After Colin Kaepernick took a knee for in social injustice for the killings of unarmed black and brown boys, which is what he took a knee for. It was not an anthem protest. He did not protest the national anthem, even though the national anthem is racist, the real version. If you look it up, it had to be cut down to take some certain things out of it. But the national anthem technically is racist. It doesn't sound racist now, but it was when it was first made. Francis Scott Key did not like niggas. But anyway, uh, but he did not protest the national anthem. It was never about the national anthem. He protested the killings of unarmed black and brown boys and just social injustice in general. And he just so happened to, I guess, pronounce his protest during the national anthem. And, of course, all the people came out and was like, well, he needs to find another another way to protest. He, he doesn't need to do it during the national anthem. It's sacred. Well, yeah, it was sacred to y'all. I'm not going to say who y'all was, but it was sacred to y'all. And for those of you that really don't know, he actually went to a military veteran and asked him, Asked his permission, sir, if I take a knee, would you find that disrespectful if I took a knee during the national anthem? And the military veteran said no. And thus, that's why he took a knee. Now, maybe that military veteran is one out of a bajillion military veterans, active military personnel in our country. And... Maybe he's the only one that felt it wouldn't be disrespectful. But because a lot of people just thought it was just disrespectful to take a knee f during the national anthem. But I kneel, when I, I kneel down for prayer when I pray to my Lord and Savior Jesus. I am Christian. You know, when I, when I kneel to pray, you know, now Jesus is clearly more powerful than a national anthem. And we kneel for him, but we can't kneel for the national anthem. We have to stand for the national anthem. You know, I stopped putting my hand over my heart, and and, st and I st I leave. I would leave my hat on during the national anthem at like around high school. I started doing that because honestly, I wasn't on Cap's level. I'm not, and I'm not even on Cap's level now, but. The injustices that go on in this country, no, nah, I'll stand up, but I'm not putting my hand over my heart, and I'm not taking my hat off. Call me, you know, you can call me an infidel, you can call me a Nazi, I, I, even though I'm neither one of those things, I don't care. But clearly, this is not the greatest country to live in. It's not. Not when athletes... And movie stars get paid more than teachers and law enforcement. It's clearly not the best place to live. But that's another story. That's a, that's a mycology episode for another day. So, Colin Kaepernick took a knee. And the 49ers, later that season, the 49ers ended up releasing him. And for some stupid reason, every team in the NFL felt that Colin Kaepernick did not have the ability did not have the talent did not have the skill to play quarterback in the NFL even though I think he was only like 
two years removed after taking the 49ers to a Super Bowl. So, basically, Colin Kaepernick got with Eric Reed and um, his lawyer, Mark Garagos, and basically sued the NFL for collusion. Um, I can't give you the actual definition of collusion. In fact, hold on. I will. Give me one second. Okay. So, definition of collusion in law, illegal cooperation or conspiracy, especially between ostensible, ostensible opponents in a lawsuit. I got to look up what ostensible means. I don't know what, I don't know what ostensible Ostensible. Stating or appearing to be true, but not necessarily so. Okay. So with that said, uh, illegal cooperation or conspiracy, especially against ostensible opponents in a lawsuit. In a lawsuit. So. Colin Kaepernick basically sued the NFL for collusion. That means he believes that the NFL purposely outright tried to conspire against what he believed to be true. Thus, every t- every time he tried to try out for a team, every try- time he tried to sign with a team, the team basically said, we don't feel that he has the necessary talent he has the necessary skills to be pr- productive for our team and like most of us real sports fans it's a bunch of horse you know what so the NFL has decided to settle now for most of us black folk when we hear the word settle in a court of law. That means you sold out. Now, I'm not trying to say Colin Kaepernick sold out. I'm not trying to say Colin Kaepernick sold out. But what I am saying, nine times out of ten, in fact, I think there's a 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
and murderers. I bet if we really look at the numbers, over half the murders that happen in this country, white folks. Drugs over overdo- drug overdose, white folks. Rapes, white folks. You want to know why I believe that? Because white people are the majority. How can a minority, how can a minority group of people lead in a category that involves everybody? If literally there are 50% more white people, that's just the number I'm throwing out there. I don't know the actual number. Please forgive me. But if there are 50% more white people in America than there are blacks, Latinos, Asians, Europeans, Australians, what are Middle Easterns? It doesn't matter. Hispanics, it doesn't matter. Just the simple fact there are 50% more means you're going to lead more categories than not. One thing white people don't lead in is immigration. Duh. But for the most part, I guarantee you, if you look up the statistics, white people who are convicted of crimes in America, whether it's rape, murder, manslaughter, whatever it is, I guarantee you, white people lead the pack. Simply because there are more of them. There, it's simply because there are more of them. So when our president starts speaking about border control and keeping them out, keeping the rapists and the murderers out, it's simply not true. It's simply not true. But anyway, back to what I was speaking about. So my fear is, or my fear of it is the NFL, one of the stipulations the NFL settled on was Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed, and of course Mark Garagos are to keep their mouth shut. They need to keep their mouth shut. Now, the good the good thing and the bad thing about that is, or the bad thing about that is, we'll never know if the NFL actually colluded against Colin Kaepernick. But the good thing about it is they're definitely hiding something. And I would like to I would like to hope that most Americans, most people who who keep up with the NFL understand that. Understand there's a reason they wanted Colin Kaepernick to keep quiet. Simply it's simply because they know that he knew something. And he knew that they know something. And the NFL knows if they let this get out, if they let this get out. This is not good. The, the trust, the trust of the NFL would be broken. And that's the one thing the NFL doesn't want. Of all the things the NFL will, the NFL will screw up on letting rapists and murderers and, and domestic violent um, players into the league. They'll mess up on that, but they will not give up that trust. They want you to trust in that shield all day long. So, Another thing I hope that happens there are today is Monday the 18th of February. So another thing that is is come up in the news is that there's a chance that he I mean, he might actually sign with either the Patriots or the Panthers. That means I would like to believe that one of the stipulations in this case was Colin Kaepernick basically said give me a shot. Give me a shot. You give me a shot, I then I will settle. I guarantee it because and and that's not and that's that's dangerous. That's dangerous because I promise y'all, if Colin Kaepernick comes out here and has a Pro Bowl season, especially if he plays with the Panthers, because they're so, they're talking about Cam Newton might take the he might have to sit out the whole season with that so, shoulder. If he plays with the Panthers, he's going to start. And I promise you, I promise you, if he gets the Panthers to the playoffs pretty easily, like he doesn't even have Pro Bowl numbers, but clearly because of his play, 
he gets the Panthers to a playoff, the NFL is going to look bad. Uh, people like me are going to look at look at the NFL side. Are we going to be like, I thought y'all said this nigga couldn't play. Thought y'all said this we didn't have talent. Thought y'all said this we didn't have the skill. That's what we gonna be saying. There are a lot of people gonna be like, "Wow, this." I mean, he must have really did some, some, some type of rehab. He must have, he must have took tier, two years off to really get his game straight because that they just said he could not play in two years. They just said his his game was horrible. No. No, a lot of us real folk, especially us black folk, we're going to be looking side-eyed in them. Our side-eye going to be hard. We're going to be looking at the NFL like, thought y'all said that new cool play. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I um, can't think of any other thoughts. They supposedly settled for $42 million. Uh, You know, that's chump change compared to the NFL. That's that's nothing. 40, 40-something million. Yeah. To the NFL, yeah, here you go. Here's a bill. You know that's that's what that is to the NFL. But I think the the main points is clearly the NFL has something to ha- something to hide because I guarantee you Colin Kaepernick cannot talk about what they settled on. And two, if I'm Colin Kaepernick, if you want me to keep, if you want me to keep, it's going to take a lot for me to keep my mouth shut. But if you really want me to keep my mouth shut. I need to be playing on a football team next season. I need to be playing on a football team next season, and I need to be fairly evaluated. I need, I, I'm need. i going to have some outside coaches, some guys who had not coached, um, Bill Parcells, Bill Cower, Dan Reeves, Mike Shanahan, Marty Schottenheimer, some, some big uh, – um, um, what's my man, Jim Caldwell, uh, Tony Dungy. I'm going to have some coaches out there evaluating me. So if, so just because you signed me and then cut me, I'm going to have backup. I'm a, these coaches are going to get on national television. Hey, we were out there watching him play. Dude can play. He can play. He can play. So clearly, you know, now, granted, I don't know how double jeopardy really works. Um, I'm not a law guy. I mean, the the gist of double jeopardy is you, you obviously can't sue somebody for the same thing twice, you know. So I don't know if, if let's say he signs with a team and they just outright cut him. And the NFL is like, we held up our bargain. We Hey, we, we said we would sign you. We didn't say you were going to stay on the team. Colin Kaepernick can't come behind him and be like, well, I'm just going to sue you for collusion again. I don't think it works like that. But, um, you know, our law, our justice system is broken. There's a loophole somewhere. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. 2019-2020 NFL season, it's going to be very interesting. I wish nothing but the best for Colin Kaepernick. Um, and we're just going to go from there, man. We're just going to go from there. Uh, shout out to everybody. It's your boy, Billy Mac ENT. I'll be back once again. I don't know what video I'm going to do next, but we're going to do this thing again. I'll let your boy pay.